Hello. Today you will find out how Kaliningrad became Russian. Initially, Kaliningrad was called Königsberg and was part of Germany. The city was founded in the 13th century by the Teutonic Knights. Earlier it was part of the territory of Russia, but it was repeatedly selected in other different ways. For example, in the middle of the 18th century, when the Seven Years' War ended, the eastern territory of Prussia and the city of Königsberg were accepted into Russia, but soon, under the terms of the peace agreement, they returned. How did the current Kaliningrad become Russian in the end? Everything was decided during the Second World War, when in 1949, Konigsberg joined the Soviet Union. So the Germans paid dearly to the USSR when they surrendered. Kaliningrad was taken by assault by Soviet soldiers in April. The assault lasted four days, and the troops were led by Marshal Vasilevsky. Soon, Potsdam Conference took place, during which Konigsberg was finally annexed to the Soviet Union. Few people know, but initially, when the authorities wanted to give a new name to the city, the choice was between Boltysk and Slavgrad. As a result, at this time, the famous politician Kalinin dies, after whom this city was named. After the end of the war, all remaining German residents who could not leave the city were deported to Germany. Already from the next year, the mass settlement of the city by Soviet people began. The city was dilapidated after the armed clashes, and some of the indigenous people remained in their homes. Soviet people often helped the Germans who were left to live in difficult conditions after difficult times. The reconstruction of Kaliningrad took a long time, but soon the city was turned by numerous efforts into a unique historical monument. If the information was useful to you, you can like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.